The historic East Washington branch is now open to the public. The renovation of this Carnegie Library at 2822 East Washington Street included a 2200 square foot northward expansion, a new computer lab, improved access, and significant natural lighting to create a bright and open environment. All of the improvements were accomplished while maintaining the historical integrity of the building. I think it's great. I'm glad it finally got done because I've been going down to the trailer when they used a temporary library for a while. But yeah, this is nice. Yes, really looks great. I mean, day one looks pretty good. Oh, it's so bright. It used to be kind of, you know, not as bright in here. And it's just a happy feel. Oh, the chandelier. I just noticed it. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I think it's, it's, it's nice. We need a, a, no, a nicer and better libraries in neighborhoods that don't, that don't have them. You know, so the nicer the libraries in the neighborhood, the more people that's going to come. I really enjoy the, working with the historic buildings and the surprises and the challenges that you find. But this is was pretty predictable from our point of view. You know, there are a few underground surprises, but uh, a lot of those were eliminated because the library had good records of uh, the original plans for the original Carnegie, and we read those and followed them. And, and that was uh, how we were able to work out a lot of the details to um, eliminate some of those surprises. I think that uh, the handicap accessibility may be one of the um, best parts of this project. It was a landlocked property. Lots of times you add an addition on the side and you put the handicap entrance on the side of the building. In this case, uh, we were able to actually put the elevator inside the shell of the original Carnegie, which is sort of difficult to do. We've done like 17 Carnegies and this is only the second time we've um, been able to do that. And uh, I hear people have used it already this morning, so that that's that's good. We've been able to reuse a lot of the woodwork. The fireplaces are, are um, well, they're electric now, but they still have the ambiance of uh, being a fireplace. The, the windows, the lighting, the light fixtures, uh, the leaded glass, we've been able to maintain all of that. It adds to the heritage of the neighborhood and, and uh, everybody in the community to kind of remember where they went to the library when they were a kid. And uh, it helps root people in their their heritage. So that's um, enjoyable to see people actually appreciate that. It means it means so much to the neighborhood. We have a lot of people here who don't necessarily have computer services at home. So we have a lot of people that come in and use the computers for just to keep in touch with people on social media, but also for job hunting and resumes and whatever other business they have. And of course, children like to play on the computers too. So everybody also wanted to make sure that we preserved as much of the original building as we could. And, and we did, I think, do a wonderful job. We have woodwork, we have book gnomes outside, the, the steps that everybody really loved. Um, the original desk is still here, although it faces the other way now. So. I think we did a really nice balancing act. The community grand reopening celebration for the East Washington branch, which in 2016 was named the National Register of Historic Places, will be held on Saturday, March 18th from 2 to 4 p.m. There will be a variety of free activities for all ages.